Hey guys, how are you? Hello, hello, hello guys. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you guys? How are you doing? How's everything? Yeah. Good. Good. All right guys, well good or good. I'm trying to turn on my camera. It's not working for some reason all that. All right guys, so uh, how was work today, Gio? Mm. I think we're relaxing. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, really? Yeah, today was a good day. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is it that you do for a living? Um, I'm a graphic designer. Oh, that's so cool, man. Yeah. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. All right. I think I I don't know if you mentioned that before, but uh, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. It depends uh, about the client too. <laughs> okay. You've been working. Have you been working uh, for a long time already? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, that's awesome. Sixteen <laughs> years. Yes. Wow. How old are you, man? You you, you don't look that old, you know. Mm, I'm forty. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that's that's why. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you looked uh, younger, right? Very good, guys. Um, Caesar, right? We got Caesar. Hello, Caesar. Welcome. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Yeah. Uh, then we have Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Hello. How Hello, was your, everyone. How was your day today? Good evening. Uh, it was fine. It was good. Uh, sorry. It was. It was good. Yeah. Sorry, I understand. All right. So, was it good? Was your day good? Ah, okay. Because, uh, uh, for example, <laughs> I I watch uh, the the match between Barcelona to versus Sevilla. Uh, Barcelona beat three three zero, um, and they uh -huh. they pass at the at the the final uh, okay they, made, right? they yeah. made it to the finals okay all right very good all right guys so there is Sorry, some hold on all right so there's an activity that we're gonna do a listening activity all right but uh let's finish with the topic of gerunds and infinities guys okay all right so we got uh seven people so far guys let me send a message to the whatsapp group I right, welcome Ruth, welcome Michelle, we welcome Carla, welcome Nelson. Thank you. Thank you. All right, nice to see you here, guys. Hold on, let me send a message, guys. All right, hold on. Anyways, guys, so that's for the rest of the class, okay? All right, real quick, guys, okay? So, um, what do we use? What's the what's the main number one difference between infinitives and gerunds? Mm -hmm. Gerunds. Remember, gerunds is about the action, about action, and they use ing. Okay, all right. So yeah. it's about actions, okay, and it uses ing. Okay, what else? What else do we actions, have? Actions that were complete, we use gerunds. Okay, for okay. completed actions, completed actions, we use gerunds. Okay, very good. All right. All right, guys. Okay, very good. All right. So now, guys, we're gonna have some um, some speaking practice. Okay, but uh, let's just wrap this up. Okay. All right. All right. So now, guys, infinitives. Okay, infinitives are best used for what? All right. Uh, let's see, Caesar. Would you please be so kind to help me read? Okay. Infinitives are best for using sentences about actions that are unreal or abstract, or that will occur in the future. 
occur in the future, okay? All right, let's repeat, occur. 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 All right, that will occur, occur in the future, okay? Occur. All right, very good, guys, okay? All right, so now, guys, if you take a look at the first sentence, all right, let's take a look at the first sentence, guys. I'd like you to think about, um, I'd like you to think about something, all right? So where do you see the infinitive here? To think. Okay, to think about something, right? Yeah. Now, is this abstract? Um, oh. uh, yes. 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 All right. Cannot... Because you cannot, I'm sorry? We cannot see it. Because yeah. you can't see it. Very good, okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Oh, okay. I hadn't thought about the concept of something abstract like that, you know? Is that the mm -hmm. definition of uh, something abstract? Something you can touch. Okay. Yeah, something All you right. can see. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right. So in this example, guys, I'm asking you to think about something, but the thing hasn't happened yet. Okay. So we're we're talking about an unreal situation too, guys. Got it? So. Okay. All right. So that's another way, guys. That's another. You know, that's that's another usage of infinitives. All right. To think about to actually. Uh, talk about actions that have not happened yet, that are real or abstract, or that will occur in the future, okay? Now, the second example, uh, Jordana, would you please be so kind to help me read? Can we take a walk without you stopping to smoke? All right, okay. This is kind of like the example that I gave you before, right? So continue reading, Jordana. In this example, we're talking about taking a walk and the smoking hasn't happened yet. Very good. Okay, the smoking hasn't happened yet. Do you remember yesterday, guys, what I explained? That an action needs to happen before, right? Yes. Very good. Okay. So, all right, so let me ask you this. Um, Caesar, all right? Yeah. So, if I say, can we take a walk without you um without you um having no without you stopping smoking without you stopping smoking can we say that mm. yes Maybe we can because... say that but sorry <laughs> Go ahead. i will say not because there are use of two germs in the same sentence but i'm not sure all right stopping and smoking good okay, okay. All right. That's number one. And the other reason, guys, is because remember, if we say if we say stop to smoke, it's not the same as saying it's stop smoking. Okay. Scenario number one, guys. Okay. If I say stop to smoke. Okay. All right. Now, do we need an action before this action? Do we need an action before stopping mm. to smoke? Mm -hmm. Yes or not? How smoke? <laughs> If I say stop to smoke, guys, it means that yeah. you, yes, right? you need an action. You need an action before. What action could yeah. we be doing? Walking, walking. Maybe walking. Maybe you're walking and then you need to stop, okay? So the yeah. action always refers to the verb that we're using, okay? All right. Now, number two, guys, if I say stop smoking, stop smoking like this, all right, then do I need an action before this? No. No. No, we don't need an action before this, right? All right. Um, what about, uh, so what, what do I mean, guys, when I say then stop, uh, stop smoking? You don't smoke anymore? You stop Very doing good. that? The habit. Now, question for you guys. Can we use infinitives and gerunds in other, in other tenses, okay? Because yesterday we were talking about something in the past. Today we're talking about something Actually, in the near future, okay, but it's in the present, okay, because we're giving imperatives, okay, we're giving commands, right? If I say, guys, stop smoking, I'm giving you an order. If it is an order, all right, then it is an imperative, okay? Stop smoking, this is an imperative, all right? And this is, guys, in the what tense? Past, present, or future? Present. Present, present. right? This is in the present, okay? Stop smoking. And you can say stop to smoke. Can I say 
can I say, could you please stop to smoke? Mm -hmm. I, I think it sounds weird. Yeah, it sounds weird. In the future tense, future, near, near future. You're inviting someone to smoke. Exactly. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. You are talking about the near future. You're maybe you're calling your friend. Hey, could you please stop by to smoke? You know, or could you please stop to smoke? All right. It means that that person, you might be able to see that person, and you're requesting that person to, you know, to stop and have a cigarette, a cigarette with you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can you say, all right, let's try it. Let's see, guys. Uh, Ruth Castro, can we use an infinitive in the future? Can we use it with a sentence in the future? I don't know. OK, uh, let's see. Carla Molina, can we use it with a sentence in the future? Or try to give me, think about an example, guys. Remember the if future? We're going to, if we're going to use the going to, going to watch going to see so to watch to see to whatever isn't that infinitive okay yes if you use a two plus a verb guys that is an infinitive okay can you okay. use okay. can you use it with will no we will not mm. it will i i don't remember can i say all right think about this uh give will me you go to okay will you go to go ahead will you go to the concert tomorrow will you go to the concert okay right no 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 all right let's let's try to change that's that's okay that's, all right that's, that's a good question. that's a good all right yeah. will you go would you go to hmm. will you go to run tomorrow can i say yeah. this mm. yes all right yeah. yes, will, you, so. will you stop to smoke tomorrow, can I say this? Yes. We'll All right, very good. Can I say, will you stop smoking tomorrow? Smoking. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, you can. <gasps> you can say that, guys. You can say yeah. it. Again. <laughs> will you stop smoking tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right. So okay. All right. Number two, guys. Okay, we can use infinitives and gerunds. Even if we're not talking about the past, okay? We can use it with the past, we can use it with the present, we can use it with other tenses. Let's try present perfect progressive, okay? Can we use it with present perfect progressive? She has been working. She has been stopping to smoke. Can I say this? Yes, stopping to smoke. She has been stopping to smoke. All right, no, no question mark, guys. Okay, there is no need for the question mark there. I'm sorry. All right. So, all right. So, is it possible to say she has been stopping to smoke? Yes, she has been stopping. Maybe she has been smoking several times that day. Now, as long as it's not an a stated verb, guys, you can use a verb in ing. Okay, she has been stopping to smoke. Okay. Now the structure you have to use the ing form here, right? But the infinitive is this. Okay, she has yeah. she has been stopping to smoke. That means that she has been walking and she has constantly been stopping to smoke. Got it? Uh, yeah. Got it? All right. Yeah. So yes, you can use it like that. Can I say can I say she has been stopping smoking? Stopping smoking. No, stopping smoking, no. Not like... no double ING. No, you can't, okay? okay? Now, this one cannot be used like this, okay? Stopping All right, smoking. Well, very good, guys, all right? <laughs> all right, do we have any questions, guys? Do you want more examples? Yes, well, let's yeah, try yeah, to please. do the exercises because those are quite confusing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very good, guys. We're going to do the exercises together. Don't worry, guys, okay? All right, but okay. before we do the exercise, we're going to go through... Um, we're gonna go through what we saw on the video, okay? Yeah. So here, guys, all right, we're talking about infinitive and gerund phrases, okay? Which is pretty much the same, okay? Everything that you know, guys, all right? This is like a piece of cake compared to everything that I taught you so far, okay? If you understood everything that we've learned so far, this is a piece of cake, okay? All right. So uh, do me a favor. Can somebody help me read? Sure. All right. So 
it plus be plus adjective noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be re restated with gerund phrases. Okay, these sentences can also be restated with, um, with gerund phrases, right? All right, guys, so here's the structure, guys. It's rude to, it's a good idea to, all right? There is no magic there, guys, okay? So the first example, um, let's see. Um, so Veronica, all right? Oh, you know what? Adriana, Adriana Mesa, okay? Help me read the first example. Yes. Okay, uh, it's true to ignore your conversational partner. Uh, okay. Ignoring, oh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, ignoring your conversation partner is you. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Ignoring your conversation partner is right. Okay. So what are we learning here, guys? Is what we're learning here is this, okay? First of all, guys, we already went through this, okay? So I'd like to know, guys. First question for you. All right. Can infinitives and gerunds work as nouns? Yes or not? Yes, they can. Very good. Yes, 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 they can, right? Beautiful. Yes. All right. Now think about the first example. The first example says it's rude to ignore your conversation partner, okay? Let's ignore the it's rude part, okay? To ignore. All right, hold on. Let me change that to a nicer color. All right. Oh, it's going to erase everything. Anyways, all right. So number one, guys. Okay. To ignore. What, what else? Uh, your conversation to, partner. To, to ignore your conversation partner. Okay. All right. To ignore your conversation partner. All right. Is rude. Okay. All right. So now here, guys. Where is the noun here? Can somebody point out the noun here? To ignore. To ignore. Very good, guys. Okay, so to ignore is the noun here, right? Or the subject, okay? All right, and then the rest is the complement, right? So now, mm -hmm. number two, all right? Sorry, number two. It says, ignoring your conversation partner is rude, all right? Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. All right. Now, where do we have the noun here? Where do we have the subject? Ignoring. Ignoring. Okay. Very no. good. Okay. No. So, what the what the infinitive and gerund phrases are teaching us, guys, is that with infinitives, you can use. All right, you can make the statement. You can use that compliment, guys. You can use this. How do we call that, guys? How do we, how do we call this last part here? Compliment. Adjective, maybe. Adjective. All right, it, it, is, it is an adjective, okay? But w w what's the object of the sentence here? It's compliment. The behavior. All right, the behavior. It's, it's yeah. All right, very good. So that's a compliment, right? So you can use the complement, guys, with infinitives. Okay, let me change that to blue now. All right. You can change that. And you can, every time, guys, that you are going, and, and, and pay attention to this, okay? Every time that you're going to give a sentence in English, guys, you need a, a subject, okay? You need a? Subject. Okay. So let me okay. ask you, if I, if I type this in, guys, if I type in, is rude, to ignore your conversation partner. Now, is this sentence correct or not? No. Why not? It's a, it's a question or, or it's exactly. a sentence? Because it's not a question, guys. Very good, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it's not a question, right? We need a subject first, right? All right? Mm -hmm. And this is a very common mistake in Spanish, guys. Have you ever noticed, guys, that people say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, teacher? Is okay. <laughs> that doesn't exist, guys. Okay. Is it okay? Right? Is it? There is always a subject, guys. Okay. Got okay. it. 
The reason why we make that mistake is because as Spanish speakers, we say, uh, está bien, right? We don't say, <laughs> ello está bien, right? So no, guys, okay, that doesn't exist in English, okay? You have to say, you have to mention the subject. So it is rude to ignore your conversation partner, okay? Voila, guys, okay? That's it. All right? Mm. One thing that you have not learned so far, guys, is that there are some verbs that can only be used with infinitives and some verbs that can only be used as gerunds, okay? So that exists as well, okay? But we have not seen that. You have, you have not seen that so far, okay? All right, so I'll, uh, let's take a look at another example, okay? Let's try the second one. I'm going to I'm going to do this guys and you're going to you're going to tell me what is the infinitive form, okay? All right. So let's say trying out different topics is a good idea, okay? This trying out different topics is a good idea, all right? All right guys. How would you transform this into an infinitive and using the you well using the complement as the main part of the sentence. It is a good idea. It is a good idea. It is a good idea. Good idea. To try out different topics. Different topics. To try out right. different to topics. Try out different topics. Okay, very good. Good job, guys. Beautiful, right? You're getting it, okay? All right, so see, guys, the topic wasn't so difficult, okay? We actually, I taught you more <laughs> because I wanted you to get a, a really good understanding about the topic, okay? All right, Veronica. All right, let's try Veronica. Number, 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 number. Let's try the next one, okay, from the platform. Uh, let's say interrupting people is considered impolite, okay? So let's see this, okay? Oh, blue, 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 blue. Hold on. Okay. Interrupting people is impolite. All right, so Veronica, how would you transform this into an infinitive form using the complement as the as the main part of the sentence, as the main clause okay. of the sentence? It is, it is in Poland interrupting people. Okay, all right, so we're going to say, you say, it is what? It is impolite. It is impolite, okay. Interrupting. No. To interrupt. To interrupt. To interrupt, to right? To interrupt. interrupt people. Or interrupt, right? Interrupt people. people. Okay, very good. Okay, remember, guys, you have to change that to infinity. Okay, very good. Applause for Veronica, guys. Good job, Veronica. Thank all you. Right. Very good. Okay. Uh, Adriana, all right, let's do the next one. Okay, now um, we're using the phrases here, guys, but would you like to use, you know what, let's do one more phrase from the, from the platform and then we're going to do our own. Examples, okay. All right, so uh, Adriana. All right, let's do the next one here. And do me a favor, guys. Everybody, do the same thing, okay? Give me your response in the chat room, okay? How would you turn it into an infinitive? So I'm gonna say, saying nice things about others is customary for the complimenter, okay? All right, so saying nice things about others is customary for the compli complimenter, all right? All right, so, all right, Veronica. So how would you transform this into an infinitive? Using the complement as the first part of the clause. Oh, Adriana, Adriana. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, to... oh, um, I have the, the example of the platform, but I oh, have you to already have it? No. the other form. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. If you're seeing it in the platform. <laughs> all right. I mean, all right. So if you know, what is the answer then? What is the answer? Uh, it's customary for the complimenter to say nice things about others. Customary for the complimenter, right? To say nice things about others. Okay, all right. 
Very good, guys. Okay. All right. Now, any questions so far, guys? Maria, Sandra, Carla? Guys, remember to turn on your cameras, please, okay, if, if you can. Uh, Alexander? Jaime? That's okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Jordana? No, teacher. Ruth, Cesar, Gio? Uh, I think good? it's clear. All right, let's 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 play a little game, okay? We're gonna use. I'm still gonna use the same phrases, guys. I want you to do me a favor, guys. Everybody in the chat room, guys, right? Pay attention to this, cause I only see three people participating in the chat room. All right, I need you to use the phrases that you have in the platform, okay? So you're gonna use, all right? You're gonna use, it is rude, all right? You're gonna use, uh, it's a good idea to. It's a good idea, all right? It is a good idea. What else, guys? It is considered impolite. It is considered impolite. Now, instead of impolite, guys, can we say something else? It is considered... It is considered true. All right, you can see it, okay? You can also, it is considered. You lose one. It is. Initial. Unusual. Yeah. Unusual. It is unusual. Unusual, okay, unusual. Very good, okay? It is considered unusual, right? Very good. I like that. Um, it is considered weird. Or it is considered weird. Okay, change that to whatever you want, guys, okay? All right. Um, all right. It is, uh, it's customary for the complimenter to say, now, and honestly, honestly, guys, uh, people don't say it's customary for the compliment, right? But you can say it's customary, okay? It's customary. All right, it's customary for, and you insert Cheyenne here. No, insert that down <laughs> here, right? All right, so there you go, okay? So I want you guys to send me sentences using infinitives with these phrases, okay? So you're gonna send me one with infinitives and one with gerunds, okay? For example, you can say it is rude to what, guys? We can actually we can actually show the other person. To okay. Show persons. You can even you can even make it more fun, guys. Okay. By the way, guys, funnier and more fun those are two different things, okay? All right, it's not, it's, it's, it's wrong to, it's okay to say more fun, but it depends because fun is not the same as fun. So anyways, it's more fun, guys, if we do it like this, okay? It is, I right, so it is rude. All right, let me change the color here. It is rude for the teacher, okay? All right, you can insert another type of, Ob uh, noun there, okay? It is rude for the teacher to smoke. Now, nah, right, let's stop smoking, guys. Let's stop talking about, you know, about smoking, right? It's it, <laughs> it is rude for the teacher to what, guys? What would it be? To chat it with another person outside the class. Okay, right. To chat <laughs> with another person <laughs> outside the class. Or during the class. <laughs> or during the class. You're right about that. You know, that's why I never do that, right? I chat with you, though, when, it, when you come late, right? Very good. All right. So, yeah. very good, guys. Right? So, it is good for the teacher to chat with another person during the class, right? Not outside the class. I'm sorry. During the class. All right. Change, change that, guys. Get to during the class, not outside, right? During the class. Very good. Yeah. So, see, guys, you can even make it longer. You can add your own creativity here, okay? Yeah. All right. So, let's go, guys. Everybody send me... An example of an infinitive in a gerund in the chat right now, and I'm gonna be asking each of you, okay? So let me start with, I'm gonna start with people who have the camera off, okay? Maria Sandoval. All right, thank you so much, Maria. All right, give me one example with, it is a good idea. You can say it is a good idea for the teacher, is it, it is a good idea for Dua Lipa, it is a good idea for whatever, right? Okay. Go ahead. It is a good idea for my mom mm -hmm. that I... To, uh, uh, remember, guys. Okay, it is a good idea to, for my mom to work in another place. To work in another 
place. Good job. This was perfect. Good job. Good job, right? Now, transform this into a gerund. Working in another place is a good idea for my mom. Working in another place, it is a good idea? Yes, it's a good idea for my mom. For my mom. Mm, what do you think, guys? Working in another place, it is a good idea. Mm. It's a good idea. Working okay. in, in another place what? is what? a good idea. Okay, very good. Let me let me tell you something, guys, okay? This is called a clause, okay? This clause. Let me okay, let me let me make the life your life easier, okay? Do we all know what a clause is, guys? A sentence. A clause yes. is a, a, a group of words that contain a subject and a verb. Got it? That's it. So now, these guys right here working in another place. Can we substitute this with a, this works as a noun, guys. This whole thing, this whole phrase is a noun. Why? Because, let, give me another, give me, give me any noun. Jordana, give me a noun. Mom. Okay. You can say mom is a good idea, right? All right. Let's change the adjective, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's change, let's change to wonderful. You can say, you can say this, working in another place is wonderful, right? Can we say this? Right. All right. Yes. So what is the subject here? Working. Working, Working in another Working place, in place, guys. All right. This is the subject, okay? Why? Because we can substitute with Dua Lipa, is. right? Is Dua Lipa another subject? Yes. 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 It's wonderful, okay? All right. Give me another, another, another subject. It, it is. Because you love it, Dua Lipa, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's yes. Dua Lipa. All right, very good. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see, okay. Chay you can say Cheyenne, right? Chayanne, Chayanne is a good dancer. It's wonderful, right? You can say this, yeah. okay? So now, what's the point of this, guys? Is it okay to say, guys, Dua Lipa, she is wonderful? Cheyenne, he is wonderful? Is this okay? No. No, no. no okay. So when I say yes, right, exactly, because you have two subjects, right? If you say yeah. working in another place, yes. it is wonderful. So these guys is a double subject too, right? Mm -hmm. so they yeah. is All wonderful, these. right? Got it? Yes? Got it. All right, so that's the reason why that was incorrect, okay? Very good, guys. Uh, I only see four people sending me the examples. I need everybody, right? All right. Very good. So let's see, Nelson. All right, let me. Uh, let's have another example, Nelson. Okay. Give me an example with it's. It is considered unusual. Okay. Okay. It is. Uh, it is considered unusual. Unusual. Repeat. Unusual. Unusual. unusual uh -huh. To call. To call my. My friends. Very good. It is unusual. Uh, uh, the, it's a, uh -huh. to call it's my friends. It's considered unusual to call to my friends. Oh, my no, friends. To call my friends. You're good there. Friends. Uh, at night. After the after at, at uh, midnight. After midnight. Okay. Good job. Okay. Very good. All right. Now. Turn this into a gerund. Uh, Cesar Garcia, let's turn this sentence into a gerund. Into a gerund phrase. Uh, it is considered unusual calling no. my friend. Remember, you need calling, to. Calling, calling. Turn it into a gerund. Yes, yes, it is considered unusual calling my friends after midnight. Calling my friends after midnight. Calling after midnight. Uh, it's considered unusual. Un, un, okay. Repeat, guys, everybody. Un. Unusual. 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 Okay, very good. Unusual. Good job, guys. Okay. All it right. Is, teacher, it is not correct. 
uh, the other way, just to. No. Uh, no. The other way okay. is incorrect. Uh -huh. okay. I mean, you can use the gerund as an object of the sentence two, guys, and as an object of the pre of a preposition two. But right now, it depends on, on the on the context. Okay, right now, okay. don't don't get confused. Okay, don't think about anything else. Right now, focus on this part. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so let's see, guys. It says, Geo says it's customary for the complementers to say nice things about others. Uh, Carla, it is rude to answer the phone at at, at mass. I don't understand that mass that mass part. All right, so let's let's correct that. I don't understand what you mean by at mass, uh, Carla. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It is sure. Rude. Go ahead. Uh, in the previous sentence, uh, in working in another place, is a good idea. Is it correct or is it is a good idea? Walking. The pre working. Working. In another, oh, working, yeah, in another working in another place. Is a good idea. Yeah, this okay. is incorrect. I, I didn't even raise yeah. it. Right? Working in, okay. in another place is a good idea. So it should be working. For, for who? For who? In another place is a good idea. Okay. This is how it should be. All right. Good job, Nelson. All right. Yeah. All right. Beautiful, guys. All right. So now, guys, did we understand? All right. Yes. Okay, guys. So I want you to practice, guys. Okay. All right. I'm going to evaluate your understanding by listening to you, okay? I want you to answer, guys, okay? What is something you considered rude? All right? What is something you considered? And do me a favor, guys, write it down in your notebook because I'm going to um, I'm gonna divide you into breakout rooms. So write it down in your notebook, okay? So what is something you consider a good idea? All right. All right. Now, I don't want you to just give sentences, guys. Okay, please try to be fluent. And I mean, just have a, a, a regular conversation. You can start with, for example, guys, I would do this, okay? This is how, would, how I would talk, okay? I would go like, um, you know what? This is what I would say. You know what? Uh, in my opinion, or personally, I actually would say personal. Personally, I think it is a good idea to uh, to take a shower every day. <laughs> See, <laughs> to take a shower every day, right? Because okay, you can extend it, guys. Okay, I want you to be fluent, right? All right, I think it's a good idea to take a shower every day because it helps you stay clean. You will not run into any uncomfortable situations when you go outside, okay? So see, guys, this is how a fluent answer looks like, okay? So what is something, hey dude, what is something you consider a good idea? You know what? Personally, I think it is a good idea to take a shower every day because it helps you, it helps you stay clean. You will not run into any uncomfortable situations when you go outside. Did that sound fluent? Yes? Yeah. All right. Yes, guys, yeah. okay, that, that sounds fluent, right? All right, so that's what you're gonna do, guys, okay? Any questions? Mm. All right, don't worry, guys. We are gonna see. We're gonna see the the exercises, okay? All right. If you want, guys, take a screenshot. I will give you a chance to, a chance to take a screenshot or write down the, the two questions. All right. So let's go. All right. Let me know if you're ready, okay? All right, very good guys. So let me assign you in two rooms right now. All right, guys, let's go.
Hello. Hello there, Michelle and Ricardo. Nice to see you, Ricardo. <laughs> nice to see you too. All right, great, 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 great. Okay. So the first thing was uh, what we consider root, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, uh, remember to write it down in your notebook, guys. Okay, that's that's what I asked you. Uh, Ricardo, do you have them down in your notebook? It's okay. Yes. All right, so uh, if you want, you can tell yes. Michelle. Okay, the, 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 there are two questions. What is the something you consider? Hi, guys. Do we have any question? I'm sorry, what? I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I'm sorry, what, what happened, Alexander? Sorry, my, my connection. Oh, okay, your connection. Sandra, hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. All right, so do we know what we're supposed to do right now? Sorry, I repeat, please. Yes, do, do we know what we are supposed to do right now? Uh, sorry, my internet is very bad. Oh. I don't connection. My screen is freezing. Oh, okay, your screen is frozen, okay. I'm going to get you together with other people so you can practice then, okay? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to get you together with other people so you can practice, okay? All right, very good. Your partners have not joined it here. You have Alexander. It was weird. Right. <laughs> I yeah, <guess> so <laughs> they have not accepted. That's why. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. So Alexander, I'm not sure if Alexander's connection is good. Maybe not. I think he's having issues with his connection. I'm gonna get you together with somebody else right now, okay? Okay. So oh, it's yeah. rude. Yeah. How much? Yeah. How much the salary is? Mm, I agree. Salary. Is? Another thing that I consider rude is when people um no let, let me think what is true good job guys good job <laughs> do we have any question no uh, uh, not so far we have to we have to extend the the the, the answer yeah. i mean in real life just do it as you would do it in real life right ah, okay. how would you okay. answer if you if you're very Realize the okay. situation, right? Okay. Two questions, right? Answer. Uh, and for a great deal for me, it's that to give information. I'm going to move you, Jaime, uh, and uh, Maria Sandoval with, uh, with other in an, to another room because uh, so you can practice, okay? Okay. All right. So, Jaime. Number Hello. Two. And Maria, number two. All right, there you go, guys. Hear you. We can hear you clear, Alexander. I um, think Alexander has internet issues, so don't, don't worry, okay? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah he has he internet issues. Yeah, the boss got it. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. So let me hear you, okay? Try to answer, guys, as you as as you would answer in real life. Okay, that's yeah. The we answered the three questions. <laughs> you answered the three questions, but I haven't heard. Okay, so okay. <laughs> let me hear you. Okay, let me hear you. Okay, okay, Veronica. Uh, what is something you consider rude? I consider rude uh, no answering the males. In a uh, opportunity time. All right, let's let's let me let me help you with that, okay? I'm sorry for okay. interrupting. 
All right. Not answering. Repeat, not answering. Not answering. Okay. And then you say consider it time, I think. Okay. In a timely, okay. So in a, you can say in a timely manner. In a timely manner. Manner. Yes. Remember uh -huh. that the answer, guys, I forget about the grammar structure if you want. Let it come out naturally. Okay. What I mean by this is how would you answer if you were, you know, if somebody asked you that, hey, what is something that you consider rude? Uh, I don't know. I consider rude people picking in, you know, picking their noses uh, after they're not kids anymore, right? I mean, you can say something like that, right? So, uh, all right, let's go, Veronica, right? <laughs> okay, Adriana, what is something you consider food? food? Okay, uh, I consider, it's considered food uh, when people in our to their friends. So when people what? When people ignore to their friends. When people ignore their friends. Okay, I yeah. consider it. I consider it rude when people ignore their friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're not using an infinitive after the the phrase there. Okay, but but it's good. The example is good. Okay, you can say I consider it rude to fight on the street. You know. That two, five, okay, that's the infinity part right there, okay? All right, but your example was good. I mean, it was a natural example, so okay. it is good, okay? All right. Teacher, it's correct. Say, uh, I can see your correct. Good. It's correct. It Remember? is correct. Is it, it is correct. Is it? Is it correct? Okay. It is correct to say, I consider good when people... Uh, two, I consider good to... Two. Two. Uh -huh. Uh, throw uh, garbage in through the window of the buses. I, I consider it for people to throw garbage, you know, garbage outside um, the bus. Okay. Or you the can bus. say I consider it for people to litter, to, to uh, litter, like to? this, to litter, litter, like this. Okay. I can you write it? I don't understand the, the word. For people to litter, okay? Litter on the street. Okay. All right. I think it's litter. Litter, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So littering, guys, okay. this right here, littering, means okay. to throw garbage, what, what you said, right? So so um, garbage in, um, in the streets, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. So we're going to go back now, guys, right? Okay. Oh, I was going to, I was about to leave the meeting, right? <laughs> Hold on. Leave break. Up. All right, guys. Nice practice. Okay, guys, so do we have a question, guys? Do we have a question? You can ask, guys, don't worry, okay? We're here to help. You can say, I, I didn't questions. understand. All right, so clear as tequila then? Yes? Or clear as, oh, yeah. as all right, kind of, okay, clear as or chat then. All right, very good, guys. Mm -hmm. Just practice, guys, okay? You. Whenever you start practicing, guys, you don't even remember the grammar, right? You just, you know, words come out naturally, right? I'm not thinking about grammar when I speak, guys. I just know that, you know, I speak well. That's it. All right. Now, guys, okay, let's go over the answers here, okay? Okay. All right. So, Jordana. The part we're waiting for. Right. The sentence is just an infinitive or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, guys, remember what I told you at the beginning of the course? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. This is a this is an apostrophe, right? About the apostrophe. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys because you are gonna do the exam, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so let me start with Jordana. Jordana. Oh, oh my god, don't see the, the answers. <laughs> I saw it. Okay. I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay. All right, very good. All right. So I, I couldn't. What do you think? 
Okay, this is what I thought. Uh, so actually, guys, do uh, me a favor. Everybody, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Now I'll give you the word in a okay. moment. Okay? Everybody, send me the answer. What do you think the answer is in the chat room? Okay, right now in the chat okay. room. Okay. The answer. And Jordana, give it to me here. In the chat room. Yeah, the one that I think it's correct. It's talking about politics at work or school is appropriate. Okay, talking about politics at work yeah. or school is appropriate. Okay, now this is a problem with the platform, guys. Yeah, okay? I know it. The platform, okay? It's inappropriate. All right, applause for Jordana because she is right, okay? The answer here, guys, is inappropriate, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. But that's a problem from the platform, not you, okay? You were good, Jordana, all right? All right, and okay. it's spelled like this, okay? Very good. Now, remember to add the period uh -huh. at the end, okay? The period, okay? Talking about, okay. All right, very good, okay. Uh, Gio, number two. Okay. It, it's simple, like, it, it, uh, let me see. It's impolite to use certain gestures in some foreign land, uh, countries. Okay, it's okay. impolite to use certain yeah, gestures. Yeah. Okay, this is misspelled, guys. This right here? This is misspelled, okay? Yeah. Gestures, guys, is spelled yes, gestures, sir. like this, okay? My <laughs> what is gestures? Gestures face, are, gestures. yeah, like, um, really like, it's like this. With your face, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. It's simple like to use certain gestures in some foreign, foreign countries. Countries, okay. Mm -hmm. We're good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, number three, uh, Ricardo. Number three, it is, it is often considered rude. It is often uh, considered to to ask someone ace to ask someone uh, age. age age okay good job yeah. all right to ask someone's yeah. age okay all right all right uh number four let's see let's see let's see let's see Carla Carla Molina okay uh, uh, It's not just me, it's the answer. It's not an issue. What? I'm thinking, wait. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna... I'm going to copy, addressing a professor. Mm -hmm. But his or her first name is not unusual in the U.S. Is not unusual. Thank you, son. In the U.S., okay. In Very good. Okay, good job. Applause, guys. Very that good. Should be the right one, right? Yeah. Right. That should be the right answer. That is great. I just read it in the three and, uh, and four words. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, number five. Uh, uh, Maria Sandoval, number five. Uh, in many cultures, to talk friends. Uh, what? I'm sorry, what? what? Sorry, sorry, let me, let me think. Uh, number five, right? Okay, I got it. In... It's customary in many cultures to call friends when you greet them. Many cultures to hug friends when you greet them. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. All right, good job. All right, very good. Number six, Adriana. Many cultures. Okay. Oh, don't look at the answers. <laughs> Some problems with the sentences, and I don't know. Sorry. Number six. Number six. It is inappropriate 
Mm -hmm. it's, it's let's use it, okay? Inappropriate. Inappropriate. In some country. Inappropriate, okay, in some countries. Uh, if they are married. To ask. To ask, to, ask to ask strangers. To ask strangers. If they are married. Okay. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. That's All right. Wrong. Beautiful. Woo. Good job. All right. No, but you're right, guys. Okay. Let's yeah. change this by it's. Okay. It's up yeah. there, right? Uh, let's see if that works. All right. Uh, it's often considered rude to ask someone's. To ask someone's age, okay? Now, this is great, guys. Okay, we'll see what happened in the platform, okay? Addressing a professor by blah, 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 by his or her first name is not no, unusual no. in the U.S., okay? All right. So far, guys, both answers are correct, okay? Number five, it's customary in many cultures to hug friends when you greet them, okay? Very good. That's also correct. Number six, yeah. it's inappropriate in, in some countries, in some countries to, ask to ask strangers if they're married. Okay, they're that's married. also correct. Now let's take a look at the answers. How you know? Ta -ta 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 -ta. All right, so let's see. <laughs> it's often considered rude to ask someone's age. This is what, it, what we get. It's often considered rude to ask someone's age, okay? What's what's different than the one that we have? It's often considered rude to ask someone's age. Nothing different, teacher. Uh, no, there is something different for sure. Sure, maybe do we have an extra, if you have an extra space, guys, okay, there, that's also considered a, a, a mistake from the platforms, uh, on the platform. So consider rude to mm -hmm. ask someone's to ask someone's age and period. All right, we might have something different here, okay? I'm going to copy and paste yeah. it. Yeah, that's great. Right. Hey, that's 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 weird. That's this is <laughs> man. All right. I copied and pasted it, guys. So Okay, right. Still wrong. I'm gonna report this, guys. Uh, this one, I'm gonna report it. All right, let's see the second one. Okay. okay. All right. In the U.S. Okay, this one is different, guys. Okay, but it is the same yeah. thing. Yeah. See, addressing a addressing a professor by his or first name is unusual. It's not unusual in the U.S. It's the same thing I say in the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. Coma addressing a professor by his or first name is isn't unusual. Okay. So the platform mm -hmm. wants you to use the the object of the sentence as, as the subject, right? But it's good, guys. The answer that you gave me is good, okay? This is a trick. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to send you guys. You are good, guys, okay? You did not make a mistake, okay? Just put it like that just for the platform's sake, okay? Now, okay. hugging friends, blah, 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 blah. We already reviewed that. In many cultures, cultures uh, it's the same. It's the same thing as the United States, guys. Okay. Yeah, the same. All right, the same thing. Okay, the structure is the same. You can say in many cultures, it's customary to hug friends when you greet them, or you can say it's customary to hug friends when you greet them in many cultures. Okay, both answers are correct, but the 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 platform is accepting only one. Yeah. All right. Um, asking strangers, blah blah blah. The same thing, guys. In some countries, coma, it's a property. So now what happens here, guys, is this, okay? These guys can be used here as well. The only difference is that at the end, you do not use a coma, okay? Mm -hmm. The platform, guys, the platform, it is not, I want you to understand that you are not incorrect, guys, because if you do this, guys, if you put an extra space in the platform like this, let me show you, all right? So if I do this, okay, let me copy and paste it. And then I'm going to put a space at the end. Look. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Right, hold on. Let's use. Oh, that's nice. They fixed that. Okay. <laughs> Let's use an extra space here. Uh, I see. I right, uh, see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So see, yeah. there, there is an extra space here, guys. It's a header. Put it incorrect in the platform. And it doesn't mean, guys, yeah, that, that it's incorrect. Okay. It means there is an extra space. You have to, basically, guys, 
the platform needs to be, the, the answer has to be like exactly how the platform wants, okay? No, this doesn't happen, guys, too often, okay? All right, so that's uh, not something that you're going to run into too often, right? Now, this one right here, guys, I have no idea why it's not taking this as, as the answer. Because it is exactly how the platform wants it, okay? All right, but we're going to figure that out, guys. Okay, I'm going to report it, and then we'll try to figure that out, okay? All right, guys, so okay. you have all the answers now, guys, okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah. I will Thank see you, you tomorrow, you. please, guys. Connect, and I'll see you guys. Okay. Yeah. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.